And happy Earth Day, everyone. This is actually being filmed on Earth Day 2022, just in case you watch this later on in the annals of history. So there you go. Coming at you today, answering questions that I get in email. And it just seems like lately I've been getting this one question more and more often. So I'm going to cover it again. I know I've covered this in other videos. But I want to cover it again, okay? And that is basically <clears throat> what plastics can be recycled back at your store. Okay, now I'm going to go through this real quick. And I'm going to stick with... Let me try that again. I'm going to stick with um, specific... I don't know why I can't talk today. Uh to the questions that I was asked, specific items to the question I was asked. But here's an overall view. If you have a grocery store that accepts your plastic bags, that's your plastic shopping bags, see that? If they accept those back at the store for recycling, you could pretty much take any type of plastic film, bag, coverings, whatever, to back to the store. As long as they are clean, now if they got oil or food or dirt or garbage and you can't clean it and unfortunately you've just however that happened you've got something that's going to contribute to the problem instead of the solution so basically just always remember that that's any plastic bags of any kind I mean the stuff that uh, well we'll go over some things kind of give you an idea so when you see these things kind of think about okay well these can go and things like that can go okay uh, and what do they turn these things into? Well, they turn it into a lot of products. Some turn it back into plastic bags. Uh, but a large majority of uh, companies now change, uh, use the plastic bags to make furniture, fencing, um, decorative molding for around your house, all kinds of plastic things that last forever, even plastic 2 by 4 wood product that is actually much better than a tree 2x4. They last longer, they're stronger, you don't have to paint them, and the guarantee that usually comes with this wood that you buy, uh, there is a limited guarantee unfortunately. They only, they only guarantee it for a hundred years, so after a hundred years you might have an issue with it. Probably not. And if your house unfortunately or the house I'm not gonna say your house because that's a horrible thing to say but if the structure that you build these things with gets damaged or destroyed fire or whatever you can actually take these plastic planks and recycle them back into plastic planks and plastic wood again something you can't do with regular wood regular wood gets damaged breaks smack whatever you got to haul it off to the landfill and destroy more trees that actually provides you with the oxygen and cleans our air to make it actually livable on the face of this earth okay uh, now I get a lot of things in the email about plastic bags and, and I got a little little cheap bag over here full of stuff and every time I got a question about it, I'm gonna say so unfortunately and the eco guys has got a great new product coming out here in a little while for packing and shipping okay and it's something that you'll never imagine it's something you can pack all of your very precious breakable goods in to mail them or to pack them away and it's a hundred percent natural hundred percent biodegradable and you will not believe what it's going to be but that will be a surprise but when you order stuff through Amazon or whatever you get a lot of these and I get a lot of questions about these these are the little air baggies that come with your Amazon deliveries or your any kind of deliveries to help cushion and fill in the extra box or whatever. And I always get a question, I, uh, people run into these type of things all the time. So what do you do? Now it says right on here, which is kind of interesting. It says uh, Earth Aware, okay? And it says right on here that you could take it back to your grocery store for recycling with your plastic bags. So that's a no-brainer. 
So what you just simply do is when you get these, just, you know, have fun, pop them so they're not taking up too much space, and then take them back to, to whatever store you go to. Now, I know a lot of you do not use plastic bags. You either use the canvas bags or you get paper if paper bags are provided at the store that you go to. Um, but you do find these blown around parking lots, blown around your yard. Inevitably, you're going to get them. So what do you do? You make sure you get these back to the store that recycles them because we want to keep these out of landfill. So yeah, these, little, these little package things, you pop them and you take them back to the, uh, <clears throat> back to the store for recycling. Okay, I do get this a lot. These are little plastic bags that things are shipped in. I almost put that in my mouth, gross. I don't know where it's been. See, little plastic bags that things are shipped in. Hey, my name's Plastic. I'm here to ruin the earth. Anyway, so what do we do with these? Well, one of two things, what I do with them when I get them. First I say to the people who shipped me whatever they shipped me, you couldn't use a paper envelope because those mainly are made out of recycled material and they're easily recyclable, easy, easily biodegradable. One, you can reuse this. You know, put a new label on it, fold it up, tape it off, stamp it, ready to go. And yes, you know when you get something in the mail from me because on the back I write, please reuse this envelope or recycle it. That's what I do. Uh, and here's a bigger one, of course. You know. Uh, I just, you know, this, these still kind of stick, which is really good. You know, I just fill it up with something else and reuse it. Of course, I write that thing on the back. Everybody knows it's from me. But you can take these as well as... I had one right here. Hold on a second. I got one. These bad boys, which a lot of people get a lot of, these little Amazon packages. Again, you could reuse these. They're actually made to cut and reuse. Or you could take these or any plastic bag envelope back to the store, put it with the grocery bags, and they are 100% recyclable. Okay, so let's see what else we got in the little baggie here. People have to, this one I get a lot of. There's a lot of people didn't realize up until now that you can actually do this. Now, this is one product, and I do not endorse any products, by the way, but this is a good example. When you go to the store and you buy, like, little snacks or something, they will come in uh, uh, little plastic bags like this. These are the little bites, okay? Now, we're going to determine what of these can be recycled and one cannot. Now there's a big controversy about this brewing right now in the industry. You know when you go out and you buy potato chip bags, there's two kinds of potato chip bags. One has got the shiny inside, almost looks like aluminum. I wish I had a sample of that, but I don't eat potato chips. Not anymore. Uh, and then some of them are clear plastic bags. They're clear. All right, the clear plastic chip bags and all that, make sure the dust is out of them. They can go back to the store. However, the ones with the shiny in the middle, the potato chip bags, it's got the shiny in it. You can err on the side of taking those back and let them decide when they go through everything if it's recyclable or not. But a lot of companies are rejecting those now. But I always still take, if I do get one, I still take it back. Uh, and I put it in the container for recycling and when it gets to the manufacturer, the recycler, they go through the bags and, and, uh, and all this and if they see something's questionable, they, they reject it. I let them make the decision rather than me because things like that seem to be changing on a regular basis. I just try to say, look, if these companies want to be fancy smancy with the little aluminum thing and they're not making the aluminum look to the bag and they're not making this easy to recycle, I just don't use their product. I use a product of a company that makes it easy to recycle their product, okay? That's just me, okay? Uh, but if you get little packets of food, like these little bites, these little little things, and, and they come in a, a regular package, and look at this, you know? It, that is definitely, and I had another, uh, it's way over there, uh, but like you get frozen vegetable uh, bags, 
that you can microwave or boil in a bag type things. Uh, you know, you buy your fish, your, your fish sticks, they come in bags like this. Rinse them out real good, dry them, take them back to the store. Yes, they are 100% recyclable. And I get at least one a day question, hey, I had this boil in a bag uh, broccoli. Here's a picture of it. Can I take this back to the store? Is this recyclable? Absolutely. Yes, it is. Take it back and have it recycled. Don't throw it away in a landfill. to sit there for 100,000 years or possibly blow out of the garbage truck, which happens a lot, or blow out of the landfill, wind up in our lakes, rivers, and streams, wind up in the ocean, end up killing the ocean, ki killing the fish, killing the plant life, and then all of a sudden now you and I got a problem with living. Okay, simple as that. You know, these are the most simple things. You're going back to the store anyway. You take it back. These are the most simplest things. I catch people all the time. At, at, at where I live, I have a recycle bin next to the garbage can. And I don't know how many times I go into the kitchen and I look and there's a bottle, plastic bottle or something, sitting in the garbage can. And I, I gather everyone around and I take that plastic bottle and I say, it takes just as much energy to drop this into the recycle bin as it does the trash can. What is everyone's problem? It's just people do not pay attention or simply don't care. And when things come back and bite you in the butt, then you look back and say, why didn't I care? Well, let's not let's not handle the whys. Let's just handle it now. Now, going on today, there's a lot of hand sanitizer being used and a lot of wet wipes and wet naps, okay? And there's usually two different kind of containers or three different kind of containers. And boy, I should have been a lot more prepared for this. Um, let me look around here. I don't see one, but uh, there are uh, the big round plastic containers that you pull the wet wipe out of the top and it never really seems to work just right. Those plastic containers, of course, 100% recyclable, lid, container, and all. Then you've got things like this little bag right here where you open it up, all right, and you take the wet wipe out or whatever, and you wipe down your hands or whatever. And people are wondering about these bags. I got a couple questions about these. Absolutely, yes, 100% recyclable. Take it back to the store. But there's also the type that are like this, but it has like a little plastic circle on the top that locks the lid down on it. Well, yes, a little bit extra work on that. Just just take your strength or take a pair of scissors, rip that plastic lid off, take the uh, plastic part, the plastic bag part of it, back to the store, and that little plastic lock lid that you ripped off, that actually can go in your curbside recycling or anywhere where you take your plastics to be recycled. Okay, and that's a whole nother story we'll talk about later about if you do not have curbside recycling, a lot of communities have uh, suspended it, which I think is a crime. I really think that any community that uh, suspends curbside recycling needs to have federal fines against them and probably jail time because to me it's a crime. All right, we, we, we're just destroying, destroying our environment with all this garbage. Okay, and when it's recyclable and reusable, we need to figure out ways to stop. Sh I'm don't, I don't get political on this. This is not a political thing. Stop shipping this stuff to China. If they've got a problem with it, or these other countries have a problem with plastics, why don't we do something kind of revolutionary and put Americans to work and make a plastics recycling right here? And there's a lot of companies out there that take plastics and recycle them responsible, responsible, res they're responsible companies that recycle them and put very little pollution in the air as they do it because there's so many new ways now of recycling plastics. That's another story that I'm not going to get into now. All right, another question is a lot of people say, yeah, but I've been told not to take dark bags back to the store because dark bags can't be recycled. Well, you can go to the dark side dark bags can be recycled. That used to be the case, but it's different now because, you know, technology has changed since 1995. Come on now, really? Yes, you can. Black bags and dark plastic bags can go back to the stores now and recycle because of how they recycle them now. Absolutely, yes. So that answers that question. And uh, yeah, uh, again, we're talking food product. Here's a perfectly good example of a food product, right? This is a sliced cheese bag. But what the, the thing about this is, and I get questions on, if I can open it, it's got a ziplocky thing in the middle. 
that's gonna oh I can't what do I I keep hitting my mic I'm sorry guys what do I do what do I do the whole thing Ziploc and all can go back to the store to be recycled now if the Ziploc bag has a little plastic tab on it a little gripper plastic tab you have to kind of rip that little plastic tab off it's easy to do just kind of think of everything in the world that frustrates you <laughs> rip it off okay and then the black bag the black the black and the bag can go back to the store um, big question here oh yeah you buy electronics you buy anything these days anything you're gonna get them wrapped in one of these nice little thick jobbies okay hey, it even says recyclable right on that thing you see that look at that ah low dense ldpe low density polyethylene anyway okay so when you buy your brand new whatever or your, your gift or your electronic or your look and look around here I don't know whatever comes wrapped in these damn things yes they can be recycled yes and thank you for all the notifications while I'm filming people my god leave me alone anyway uh, yes these can go back to the, um, the store where you take your grocery bags and recycle them any anything that comes wrapped up of electronics or gifts or anything on this site can absolutely go back you know, what I do is I, I, I do get these because I find them blowing around the parking lot. Friends get them, these little plastic shopping bags, you know. You know, Don't let children play with these. I better put it back. So I do keep them. I hold on to them. And every time I get any kind of plastics, if I take my clothes to the dry cleaner and it comes back with that plastic bag on it or I get these type of plastic bags when I buy something or I get this plastic bag when I use the wet wipes or I get this plastic bag when I eat those yummy little foods or any kind of little plastic foods boiled vegetables and all that someone sends me something in the mail I don't use these but people do send me in the mail these little plastic bag envelopes I get dark bags I get Amazon uh, bags I get packaging bags well, what I do is I just, I have this sitting around, I shove them in, and then when I go to my local Publix, is where we go here in Orlando, Florida, or whatever, I take them back, and I recycle them. It's the right thing to do. If you ever have any questions on, is this recyclable? Can I recycle this? The Eco Guys at Yahoo.com. I'll be more than happy. And of course, in the description of this video is the links to the Facebook, the Instagram, the YouTube. Well, the YouTube, if you're watching this on YouTube or Instagram, I guess it all depends. You can get a hold of us and ask us any questions, and we will get back and answer those questions for you. Um, also, if you have another YouTube channel and you want to send me a sticker, go right ahead. If you have a, a, an organization or a business and you have coffee mugs, if you want to send me a coffee mug or any of that, uh, put a request down in the description that, and I will send you a link to mail these things to. If you send a coffee mug and you put a couple of dollars in there, it doesn't have to be a lot. It could be one, two, ten, five. It doesn't matter. Put a couple of dollars in there to help us keep growing with the Eco Guys and keep going. I will definitely drink out of your mug and I will talk about your organization. I'll give you a plug and I'll tell them how great you were. If you have a sticker, I'm just going to talk about you anyway. And this is Scrap Kingdom. Okay, you can look him up on uh, Steel Scrap Kingdom on YouTube. I will have a link for him. Sent me his sticker. and I think that's awesome. This is probably the most realistic scrapper I've ever seen out there. Of all the scrapping videos, of all the guys who street scrap, dumpster dive, this guy right here is probably the most real. Uh, he doesn't edit his videos and puts airs on. He shows you what the scrap life is really about. And that's his sticker. And I got it. It's going to go on my little sticker board that will be behind me here real soon. Okay. Stay green. Happy Earth Day. More videos coming. Like, share, and subscribe. Comment. Tell me what you think. Ask me questions. I love you all. 
Take care, peace, love, strength, and you know what I always say, get green and get wild, baby. Nine, Take care. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.